Hey, what is up guys, IT Buddy here, and uh, just want to say thanks so much for participating in the giveaway, and uh, I've been growing so much, it's awesome. I messaged everyone in the YouTube PMs, whoever won, and don't worry, I'll be doing a whole bunch more, I get projectors all the time, so to make sure to stick around. But yeah, today I rounded up the best bunch of projectors of 2018, New Year, and uh, first video of the year, woo! And yeah, today we got the AlphaWise A8 Smart Projector. Now this is the first $66 Smart Projector I've ever seen. It's great quality. And yeah, it has a whole bunch of good specs. So here we go. It has a quad core processor, one gigabyte of RAM, and eight gigabytes of onboard storage, but you can always expand it using your SD card. A very small form factor, especially for $66. I made a previous video saying how I hate these cheap projectors, but when you actually look at the quality and the price, it's not that bad. It has the native res resolution of 854 by 480p. And usually it's a lot lower for these cheap projectors, but it's on sale right now. I have the link down in the description. But yeah, 1001 contrast ratio. It can get 100 inches of image while still maintaining its clarity. Uh, after each projector, I'm going to show a quick unboxing of everything and the uh, image quality test. Just give you guys a quick idea, but I love these projectors. I'm going to go up by increasing price, so I'm starting with this. Um, honestly, the image is just, is just astonishing, so let's get into that unboxing. So you have a pretty simple standard box. White box, nothing too special about it. LED projector on the side. Your typical thoughtful uh, packaging, just styrofoam. We have our power cord, US power cord. Very common stuff in these projectors. Audio converter, to AV. What I like about this remote, it's actually a little different from the typical remotes. A little smaller, feels lighter to me, but still very basic remote. We also have our kickstand, which is better. I don't like the actual kickstand some have built in. I like the screw because I can adjust it a little more, I have a little more control. And as usual, that useless manual. And that nice crinkle. But yeah, we have nice clicky buttons, very right? tactile if that's a word. It's nice, we have our AV, we have our IR blaster receiver right there. Ventilation, HDMI, mini SD card. Ventilation on the side, nice big lens, very beautiful to look at, simplistic, especially for 60 bucks. We also have an IR receiver on the front, so it's gonna work from either direction, front or back, bottom, if you mount it. Your focus knobs and your keystone knobs. If you don't project it straight onto the wall, you can always adjust the angle. Like I said, you can get a hundred inches with this. Not that, not too far away. Here's just a quick idea of what, what the image quality is, video quality, and I'm streaming it from my phone. But yeah, it looks amazing. Colors are very vibrant. Only sixty-six bucks and only five feet away, you still get a pretty good image. So for the next projector, we have the Cheerlux CL760 LCD video projector. And I like how uncanny the design is. I haven't seen a projector looking like this in a while. I mean, usually I have your square bo boxy design. Now we have this nice, modern, curvy look around, rounded. I actually really like it. And right now, um, this price point is $156.52, exactly. And um, I just think that we have some honorable mentions at the end for the $100 price point. I just want to go over here because you actually get the next step up right here. You have your HDMI's, your USB's, all that good stuff. But very, this is very bright. You have your high anti lumen count, has a 120 inches um, projection dimension range. And it's native resolution 1280 by 800, which is very high for 150 bucks. I mean, usually you get your 
you start getting your native 1280p by I don't know 180 price so it's a little cheaper and you also get a bigger image uh, shorter throw distance so you can actually project that bigger image with not that much space in your room but yeah this design is super nice 2000 by 1 contrast ratio it supports uh, 1080p and obviously like most projectors in this price range the bulb will last forever it's not like the lasers or anything but yeah let's get into the actual video image test of it okay so we actually have a really nice design i love the black on black on red very i like the contrast it pops out for me sticks out and i like the difference because especially at this um price point like you're gonna get a whole bunch of competitors and it's just nice to set yourself apart so we have the typical packaging though. It kind of reminds me of the GP100, which is actually the next choice, spoilers. But you have your styrofoam in the middle and then you have your uh, accessories. So inside, like usual, we have that um, little kickstand, but not the, uh, the screw for the kickstand. So you actually adjust each level, which is actually nice. Like I said before, it's nice to have the uh, versatility, be able to do what you want. We have a typical power cord, nothing too special about it. The remote, again, this is actually a whole different design from those, usually we get those cheap uh, remotes that have the same buttons. We have the numbers, you can actually dial stuff in, you can do a whole bunch of stuff with this remote. Looks different too, which is always nice, I don't like the repetitive designs. And we have the microfiber cloth and the 8mm headphone to AV. Now for the good stuff, plus the manual. As always, it's a very sturdy, heavy projector. You can, it actually speaks to the quality, I think. But as usual, useless, not gonna read that. It's probably not even English if I even opened it. In that nice bag, ooh. But yeah, like I said, I love the design. Very sleek, very modern. I haven't seen a design like this in, in ever. <laughs> And I just think that it looks amazing. I just love looking into the lenses of projectors, just having it reflect like it looks awesome. Especially this nice big lens. What's nice about this with this design, the fan circles the entire thing, just ventilation. And the fan noise is just very minimal. You're not gonna hear it that much at all. And I think that at this price point, that's amazing because usually you don't start getting quiet fans until a lot later. You also have very loud speakers. Just this design is very well thought out and that's why I chose it over the different hundred dollar projectors and I just skip right to this because this is amazing. Mountable, omnidirectional remote works, the bottom, everything amazing. So yeah, now it's time to get into the video test. Okay, so instead of just doing a whole video, just for the sake of ease, I have my flash dive in, picture of Mario. I just do it for the sake of vibrance to see all the colors. And yeah, about a foot away, huge image, nice colors. But yeah, nice projector. So let's hop right into the review over into the GP100 projector by Vivibrite. And it's just a great offering. It was one of my first bunch of projectors that actually got, that actually got me reviewing. I used to have the Creenova also. And it's native HD, so 1280 by 800, and it supports 1080p, of course, and it just has a plethora of ports, the AV in, comes with adapter, headphone, USB, HDMI, and VGA, and it's just amazing. The fan is minimal, it's not loud at all, the built-in speaker is nice and loud, you have the focus, it just projects such a huge image over such a small distance. So let's hop over into the unboxing, and now that we're opening it it's a plain package but it still looks very nice simplistic as always we have our styrofoam padding on top with our uh, accessories on the left right whichever way you look at it my bad this is nice having a nice giant bag for everything very right, typical stuff though got our power cord as always it's got power these giant things Microfiber cloth. We have our AV, 8mm. We have our remote. That's the basic remote I was telling you guys about. Comes with every projector basically, besides a couple. We have a VGA cord, a little outdated. I prefer HDMI, but again, this is a really nice projector. It's like I use this for gaming. It was before I moved to the more expensive ones. We have a useless manual. Let's throw that out. But yeah, let's open this, see what's good. Cream of the crop projector. 
and it's a little heavy. It looks really nice though. I like when I like heavier projectors. It feels sturdier, in my opinion. I didn't like. I didn't enjoy mounting those tiny projectors. I feel like they wouldn't hold. So having a nice giant GP100 was amazing. My main main using that. Okay, so we got our typical stuff. Giant fan, nice big lens, I love it. Focus and keystone on the side. Got our ports in the back. Nice ventilation, you can see the heat sink through the vents. And the giant fan out front. Put on lens cap for travel, if you're taking along. Buttons on top. Very standard, high quality. For 180 bucks, you can't go wrong. Maybe even a little cheaper. I always have coupons in the description. It's also an Android for version, so you can play Netflix directly from the projector, play games, anything you want. Sky's the limit, especially with these projectors. What you can get, especially with this 200 inches on a, on a screen, you'll see in the video quality test. But yeah, I really love the GP100. I love it for playing. I play COD on it. Really low latency. I didn't really notice any lag. But yeah, it's amazing. Let's go on to the last projector. So for the grand finale of projectors, the Wow O2 H8 projector, white and black. It's running Android 4.4 and it runs 1280p by 800 pixels. And it is amazing. Literally Bluetooth 4.0 running Android. This thing is a beast. While the other ones weren't in any particular order, they were also at the lower price point. This thing has USB 2.0, HDMI 3.0, Ethernet, all the ports you can possibly think of. It's running at a price of $300, but right now Gearbest is on sale for $11.11 and Black Friday. But let's hop into the unboxing. This thing is super small and compact like the last one, and has the gold accents, which I really like. It makes it look very high quality, high class. But this projector is worth me money right now. Has the, a whole bunch of fans all over the sides, comes with all the cables and ports you need. It's amazing. It projects sizes of over 130 inches. I've tested that using my projector screen. And again, I didn't want you guys to have a bad review, so I'm taking my time reviewing each one for separate videos. But of course, you can always check out other people that, who have done it online. But of course, be sure to stick around and wait. This projector is worth the money. It has just 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, dual band Wi-Fi. It's super fast, especially with USB 3.0, so you won't get stutter when you're streaming from your your um, USB um, SD cards. It's super nice, like quiet, and you won't get that with the other ones at the cheaper price points. Not completely quiet like this one with all the things you possibly need. But Gearbest is 75% off at most, probably, and 25% at the least because of 11.11 and Black Friday. So this is the time to get projectors, like. Links in the description and everything. And don't forget to stick around to get the other in-depth reviews. But this projector is literally amazing. The IR receiver works from anywhere around the room. You don't even need to point at it. And this small form practice is so hard to find for such a competitive price. It directly competes with my Epson projector. I love it so much. I can't even explain how much. Okay, guys. So here we go. We're in the video test like before. Eight feet away, a little ten feet. Again, the colors are even more vibrant, more saturated, and what's even nicer, it's br even brighter. You can even use this in direct daylight if you, daylight, when I say daylight, I mean just light in the room, have a curtain open, you can still see it perfectly. It looks very sharp, I just love the way the colors look, it reminds me of my Samsung Galaxy phone screen. Just all the colors pop, it really appeals to my eye. The fan is completely silent, which is amazing, I love hearing nothing, I just love hearing what I want, just the movie itself. And the speaker's loud enough, but you can also output to your surround sound system, whatever you want to do. The contrast, great. You just see the darks. I, you can see every little detail in the screen. But yeah, that's it. I love it. I hope you guys do too. That's it for the video, guys. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. I always respond to all my comments. And again, thanks so much. We've been growing so much recently. And uh, congrats to everyone who won the giveaway. Don't forget I message you guys. So make sure to check your messages. And I'm always doing more and more. So be sure to stick around. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this roundup of best projectors. I do videos every week. But yeah, that's it. ITBitty out.